Hey guys, just a short lecture, and we'll be talking about the red and the white pulp of spleen. Okay, red and the white pulp of spleen. Um, you guys see that um, this spleen contains two types of pulp, and one is a red, one is a white. Okay, so the question is, how do the white pulp and the red pulp of the spleen differ with respect toward both cell population and function? Okay. So um, basically, guys, this is a spleen, and um, this is a spleen that has been cut into two. And I'm coming to the histological diagram of the spleen. I would like you to note the red pulp. I would like you to note where the white pulp are, okay? Because they are the two guys I will be talking on. And basically, we will be comparing, we will be differentiating them based on our cell population. So the white pulp of the spleen differs from the red pulp of the spleen in the following manner, okay, based on cell population. We see that the white pulp constitutes about what, only 25% of the normal splenic tissue, while the red pulp constitutes about what, 75% of the normal splenic tissue, okay? So from here, it's obvious that the red pulp is more than the white pulp, okay? So also, the white pulp consists entirely of lymphoid tissue, Okay, that's the T lymphocyte and the B lymphocyte. Okay, why the red pulp consists majorly of nucleated red blood cells. Okay, the red pulp consists of what nucleated red blood cells. Why the white pulp consists of what lymphoid tissue? That's the T lymphocyte and the B lymphocyte. Okay, so guys, um, this is like the real histological slide. Uh, you can see the white pulp here. You can see the red pulp here. Okay. So, uh, based on function, we see that the white pulp of the spleen acts as an important site for both innate and acquired immunity. Of course, you see the, uh, the T lymphocyte, uh, you see the B lymphocyte, okay? So, definitely, this thing is about talking about immunity, okay? So, um, while the red pulp acts to filter blood of antigens, okay? Uh, the red pulp acts to filter blood of antigens, deform red blood cells, and worn out red blood cells, okay? This is like quality control of red blood cells, right? This is where um, in the face of red blood cells, you see that red blood cells are destroyed in splenic capillaries, okay? So and they are destroyed in splenic capillaries, but um, these splenic capillaries are also known as what? The red pulp of spleen, okay? So this is just how you interconnect your things all right so with these guys i would like to close the cutting i'll see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now